and she was literally standing right there just grilling everything, just trying to fucking be in somebody's way. Like, I guess she just used to being in somebody's way. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jack TV. This is your boy, Joey Badass. Oh, man, last night was a big night. We uh, pulled a uh, Dodge Ram out of the uh, woods from an accident. Cody called me with uh, a car that was um, ran straight off in the road to the woods. I don't know what happened. I guess he didn't uh, stop in time or what, but uh, got that pulled out last night, towed to his house. Police was being an asshole, man trying to rush us and this and that and I was telling the officer look you can't rush stuff like this because that's when people get hurt oh I know I know I know but blah 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 man shut up rushing just wanted to go do nothing go sit down be lazy that happened just finished the call up this morning as well got these junk cars that are leaving today a few of them we got a Nissan Sentra we got this Ford finally leaving with no doors we got this Fusion over here and this PT. These are all leaving the yard today. Might slow up on a junk car thing just for a little bit until the lot actually gets finished and stuff like that. Just because it's such a hassle being in here, man, and moving them in and out. Unless it's like a really good deal or something like that, I'll get it, but I'm gonna start trying to get them for cheaper than what I've been doing. I've been giving people top dollar for them and scrap is just not at top dollar anymore right now just because of the coronavirus stuff so just feeling y'all a little bit of information but uh smash that like button hit that subscribe button if y'all like the last videos um loving the season so far make sure y'all share these videos comment on everything like everything guys and uh back to the video thank you for everybody that's liking comment subscribing everybody that's holding me down watching all the video we're getting some more plays back up everyone like feeling good guys it feels good to work hard do the editing and all that stuff and actually see something in return about to go pick up this range rover it's right outside of easton here it's going over to annapolis it's for urgently i charge them 314 dollars it's a 30 mile tow then we got to go pick up this repo on the way back it is in Kent Island in Graysonville it's GPS it's been sitting there since yesterday so we'll go ahead and lock that up it's a Cadillac SRX or something like that MRX whatever they're called enjoy the video y'all go ahead and smash that like button right now for your boy smash that subscribe button for your boy and as always y'all show some love and share these videos guys because we need to get to the top we're on our way to 5,000 subscribers y'all let's do it I don't want to feel so alone side i'll tell you that but this is what we got we got a 2021 range rover land rover range rover sport said it ended up putting itself into limp mode and when it went into limp mode it ended up just conking out on her literally in the middle of a stoplight literally in the middle of the stoplight but this is literally a brand new 2021 range rover she's only had it for four months literally four months and we had to throw dollies and I had to put them on the way that I don't like putting them on because of her driveway was all rocky and hilly. It took me fucking 10 minutes just to put these goddamn dollies on because the rocks were so uneven. I had her breathing down my neck talking about, oh, wouldn't it be better with a flatbed and this and that and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, it wouldn't actually. I mean, since you know, since you know how to tow, no, it wouldn't actually. No, I like my truck. I like doing this. But how you parked it on the edge of a fucking rock driveway with these little fucking stones and shit, little crush and run stones. I, what am I going to do with that? Like, it made my fucking axles all uneven. So every time I lift one up, the other one pops off this and that. I wanted to show you guys so that you guys can actually see the struggles of different things that go on and what not to do, how to do it, this and that, because I almost missed it. I thought I had them all up. I did that one last pre-trip inspection before I fucking dipped off of my axe. And that one on the back uh, passenger side was a little out of the fucking hole. So as soon as I would have pulled off, that would have dropped.
All right, so I got down the road and I started thinking, I don't know if you guys seen, you don't see the tow light up there, right? It's all aluminum roof, everything. So when you have something like this, you wanna try to find the closest thing you can to the rear so that the lights can be illuminated. Like if you have it rear wheel drive and you're pulling it from the rear and it's all aluminum, you can stick it on the dashboard and stuff like that. Kind of thinking like, huh, where can I stick it? Blah, 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 there's nothing. But if you can look closely on the inside, you're gonna see it. There's a little rack back here on these to where that's visible. It's magnetic right there. Bingo, let's get it, dude. Fucking shit. All this electronic. God damn. I'm trying to reach 5,000, boys. Then I want to get to that 10K mark. I want to get a plaque, y'all. Help me get a plaque. Bang that like button. Bang that subscribe button. You guys are going to see more stuff like this. Nice vehicles, junk vehicles, impounds, all that shit. Repos. Let's go, y'all. Get with the channel, man. Now we got FedEx. What are you doing? Blocking my goddamn way. Parking lot so tight, but they said park down here, just don't block any cars. But you can park along the yellow curb or anything like that. So let's see what we find, boys. Alright guys, we're getting the truck warmed up and everything. We had a call last night come in off of Google for a uh it's a junk car, it's an 88 Dodge Dynasty. It's not the best, so we're gonna go up here and try to get it for 200. I thought he said it was a different vehicle. But I thought he said it was actually a Dodge Ram. But ended up recapping it again and telling me it was 88 Dodge Dynasty. So I'm gonna still go up here and take a look at it. If I, he said he's got the title and everything, he's got new tires. I mean, I'm not even worried about any of that stuff because I'm just gonna junk it. So as long as he got a title and stuff, I can give him up to 300. But I said that because I thought it was the truck. I'm not gonna go over 200. If he if he doesn't want to go um, for 200 or less or whatever, then I'm not even gonna go ahead and get it. it. It's not worth it if I get it for anything over 200. You know what I mean? Because at that point, the scraps only gonna bring another 150 profit. I don't even know if the cat's on there really good or not, you know what I mean? I'm still getting new, but my buddy says as long as I get it for 200 or under, then I'll be in a good position, you know what I mean? So let's make it worth it. Let's get up here and let's see what we're getting ourselves into. <laughs> it's nothing exciting, y'all, but we just got this uh, 88 Dodge Dynasty junk car right outside of Greensboro, right here in Goldsboro. It's about five minutes down the road from my house. What we did, paid $200 for this, about $50 more than what I wanted. I wanted to get as low as I could because they don't bring as much, but I'm already in the plus about $300. So we're gonna get it up to the lot real quick. Ain't nothing wrong when it starts up everything. I let them keep the battery, took the battery back out, but we got a call on 404, I got it off of Google. There's a guy that's stuck there. He needs to get back to Greensboro. Get this back to the lot and uh, get that dude back home safely. Let's get it. He said his wife is on uh, oxygen, so we got to make this quick and fast, guys. Let's go. All right, so we're up here on this tow on the highway. And of course, we can't get out because nobody wants to get the fuck over like they're supposed to. The traffic is really, really fucking bad. Nobody wants to get over. Nobody. So, let's try to go ahead and get up out of here. Nobody follows the law. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it all on camera or not, boys, cause my camera's fucked up, but we're out here on this highway, and I'm gonna tell you, it is fucking jam-packed with beach traffic. Every fucking where's, man. All right, guys. We got this up here. I'm hoping this is actually being recorded because my camera keeps cutting in and out, you know what I mean? But all safe and sound. Truck is working good, lift is working good, boys. I actually told Greg that I was dropping this off and that 
I'm gonna have him doing alignment and everything come uh, this week for me. So need alignment and my steering wheel centered. So. Everything was dropped safely. That was already like that. Bottom bumper and everything. But that's why we get pictures, fellas. Gotta uh, drop the key and everything. Let me put this brake up. I had it in gear. See this front wheel drive. I just put it in gear before I drop it. Put the brake back on. I'm gonna go drop the key and uh, fill out the information for the fella and get on my way. I even went ahead and uh, put everything back in for my buddy it was just out of the clip and everything so I clipped it back in for him all right boys we're getting ready to get um these signs put up we're going to go throw a couple more signs up in a couple different areas I'm gonna to go to a couple different um apartment complexes a couple different uh plazas different things where I can um, offer our services for impounds and I'm also just going to go around and throw the junk car signs up everywhere just put them on some telephone poles so nobody can rip them down put them in front of stop signs just throw them everywhere it's in all heavily traffic areas I've been getting at least one call a day from them signs and people are like man I see them everywhere now you goddamn right you do it's more about cash calls and local calls and doing stuff like that I'll do the insurance calls when I can do it at my contracted rate but if I'm not going to get my price for the things, I'm not going to be sent out on a 60 mile round trip tow for 53, 60 bucks. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it. I can't do that. Not with the $10,000 lift that I just bought. No, I can't do that. I can't risk anything breaking on this truck for anything under a hundred dollar tow. Like, that's just ridiculous. Like I'm lifting a whole car on this thing. The cost of insurance, the cost of fuel, the cost of everything nowadays. Like guys, you can't be cheap with this stuff. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap on your trucks. Know your worth, like I said. That's gonna be the motto. Know your worth. Don't settle for anything less than that. You know what I mean? Don't settle for anything less than that. Just kinda stack everything up behind the seat right there so I can just get it out. Get it up and let's get it. This is the first area we're at. Right out here by Red Bridges. I hate these fucking roads, man. There we go. Set one out there. Right off by the Union Greensboro Road. Cash for junk cars, baby. Straight cornfields around here, boy. Let's do it, dude. This is gonna be a real good spot right here. This the main road. So I'm gonna stick it like right here. People probably rip these bitches down after time, but it is what it is. We're on the main road right here. This is big traffic right here. Got one up right there. Let's get it. Jumped on the opportunity up here by this stop sign. I'm checking on the other ones I put out, but they got a couple up, so why not join them? That's still there. Perfect spot. Oh, that's still there too. All right, guys, we're out here to the uh, Preston gym. I'm getting ready to go in here real quick. We got the uh, Ford Transit on the back. I'm gonna uh, take it straight over to Elk Ridge from here, but I'm gonna go get me a nice workout in, do some arms today. This is where we're at. We're out here in the uh, old 
those silos. But we picked this up the other day. Um, the traffic has just been horrible going across that Bay Bridge and just over the bridge, trying to get over the bridge everywhere. It's just horrible, man. So nice work out in and go sit our ass in traffic probably, even on a Tuesday.